Many people support freedom in name only. There are many made up terms and terms used incorrectly. The masses, by and large, support statism and are radically opposed to freedom, not just in one country, the entire world. Where there is private property, there is freedom and peace. Arbitrary definitions can be used. Words have meaning. Failure to use the proper words will distort your message. Many times, this is done intentionally. An enormous amount of propaganda exists to twist the facts. That propaganda was, and is, successful. Few understand what capitalism, freedom, and private property are. Almost everything that's bad is attributed to capitalism. The world was in misery and poverty without capitalism. Much of this propaganda is pushed by people who are envious. They feel they deserve more. So, they take refuge in delusion. Truth won't convince the envious ones. Mises referred to this as the Fourier complex. There are many people who don't understand how someone less intelligent than them can be much more successful. It's pretty simple. Those that improve your standard of living are more in demand than papers about fill-in-the-blank studies. They feel their work should be appreciated more, so they want to fill their role as the philosopher king. The masses gain an immense amount from division of labor. Just imagine how much you'd have right now if you could only consume what you produce. Many of us would struggle for the bare subsistence. Forget about your electronics. Even if you could produce electronics, you'd have to trade with someone who can hunt. The world population would drop drastically if we all live in isolation. Freedom can only happen if we protect private property. This will increase competition and improve our standard of living. The solution to monopolies isn't to create one big monopoly. Contrary to propaganda, monopolies are not the result of capitalism. It's the grant of government privilege. That's statism. The propaganda army is deranged and delusional. This nonsense can only be overcome by self-education. 